Right now for you at four, as the vaccine rollout continues, more questions are coming into our eyewitness news inbox. So we want to answer the questions that you've been sending our way. We do like to get them and we love to try and get them answered for you. Joining us live is Dr. Keja Amawako, Associate Professor of Biomedical Engineering at the University of New Haven. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Mark. Well, as I said, we get a lot of questions, so I want to get right to it. D. Tracy from Hebron wants to know, is it okay to mingle with other people without a mask if you both have been vaccinated? And if so, when? I think that's a safety question, you know. You, I think you, you're okay to do that only if you know you have uh, protective levels of antibodies and you're not transmitting any of the uh, mutant uh, COVID strains. And so that is really a safety question. Yet you have to know that you have the antibodies to protect yourselves. And I'm assuming you think people should keep wearing their masks even after they've been vaccinated, right? Yeah, absolutely. The mask uh, doesn't come off after uh, the vaccination because uh, it takes time for your immunity to build. And, and so, uh, you know, the only time you, you get to the point of taking that off is knowing that you have these protective levels of antibodies. Okay, good to know. Now, Jay Simmons from Burlington wants to know, is 40 days too long after the first Moderna vaccine to wait for the second shot? Some folks are having trouble because of the supply issues. Yeah, absolutely. So that this is going to happen more and more. The 40 days is longer than the recommended period. However, uh, a second uh, uh, shot is going to boost uh, one's uh, antibody levels and also, you know, strengthen the immunity. So whether it's longer than you, you, you still have to go in to get it when, when you have a chance. But don't panic. It's still going to work. Uh, I think it, so it's likely going to boost the antibody levels. Uh, uh, it is definitely outside of the recommended yeah. time period, but uh, it, it's going to be a booster. And so we expect that it would increase the antibody levels. OK. Yes. Now, Janet from Meriden brings up this point. Once a person has been vaccinated, both doses, should that person have an antibody test after, say, six months or even a year? I think uh, that's an option that should be available to folks because the only what, what that's going to provide is a peace of mind for individuals that they have protective levels of the antibodies. And also that's going to give us uh, data, scientific data uh, to, to look at so that if new solutions need to be implemented, then we, we, we follow uh, and do that. So it, 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 I think it's a, uh, you know, it gives people a peace of mind if they know that they, they are, uh, they have the antibodies. Lastly, doctor, you know, we've talked so much lately about these new variants and now they're confirming what one from South Africa is here in Connecticut. Is this concerning to you right now? Obviously our, our percentage is under three, which is good news, but um, we're not out of the woods by any means. Absolutely. It's very concerning because uh, the patient who, who tested positive for that strain, the South African strain, is hasn't traveled out, out of the uh, country in, in a while. And so that tells me that that strain is uh, circulating around. So it's only a matter of time we're going to dig up more, more, of the, uh, more of the strain. So folks should be really careful. We follow the CDC guidelines and wear, wear a mask and, and, and you know, social distance. Okay, Dr. Keja Amawako, thank you so much for joining us again this afternoon. We always appreciate it, how you take the time to answer these questions. We'll have a lot more, so I know we'll see you soon. I'll be happy to be back. Thanks for having me. See you soon. Now